Hey guys, we're gonna be changing some uh, spark plugs. Now, we're gonna be changing spark plugs on a 2011 F-150 and uh, use OEM plugs, Motocraft for Ford. Don't, uh, don't match match them. A lot of Ford vehicles do not like uh, non-OEM plugs. I don't know why. We've chased our tail a few times on uh, some different uh, Ford vehicles where we had a misfire. Changed the plugs because it was a misfire for plugs. And changed the plugs out, but we went with like NGK or Bosch or something, I can't remember. And then that didn't work. So then we swapped out the plugs again for another aftermarket plug. That didn't work because we were still chasing our tail. And then we finally decided... Let's just go with some OEM plugs. Did that. Customer didn't want to do that at first because it was more expensive. But had to do it in the end. Fired them in. Problem solved. So, with your 2011 F-150, uh, we got Motorcraft Ford Spark Plugs. The part number is SP548. They're a platinum plug. Let you see that there. Now, we're going to be changing them on the F-150, the 5 liter Coyote. So I'll flip you around here and we'll show you what we're doing. Alright, first things first, we got to disconnect our uh, coils. So, you have little red tabs on all of them. Some of them are a bit harder to get at than others because there's a little bit of wire in the way. But, uh, grab a flathead screwdriver, it's probably be, going to be your easiest way. Um, tried there a few minutes ago with by my hand and I couldn't push that out by hand so I'm gonna use a flathead just gonna take it kind of take the flathead put it in behind here wiggle it back and forth get it down under, oh get down underneath and it popped out now all it is is a little locking tab it's gonna slide from the top all the way down to the bottom and when you put these back together make sure that top piece the, the lip is sticking up. So get that up out of the way so we don't lose it. Now, I was having an issue pushing down on these with my hand. Yeah, I can't get her out like that. So I gar grabbed a 90 degree pick and we're gonna go down under here and we're just gonna get underneath the tab so we can lift up. See how that popped up and out? And we'll take our screwdriver and just lightly twist up on that. Use it as a little levering point. Probably pull that off now. There we go. So clip comes off. Now you got a bolt holding your coil in. That's an 8mm head, so you're gonna need an 8mm socket. I won't be able to use my uh, little nut driver on. Uh, all of them because it won't fit down in the back. But we'll pull this up and out. There we go. So you want to try and keep these nice and clean. You don't want to just throw them anywhere. Try and keep them away from any metal filings or anything like that. Any, any dirt because if dirt gets up along here and creates a line, you could have... Uh, arcing like carbon tracking and uh, get a misfire if you get these boots all dirty um, if you've been having a misfire chances are you want to change your boots as well so uh, yeah set that up and out of the way Let's see what we got down there for a size I believe it's this one here Find out. Yeah, that fits on. Now, spark plug sockets 5 8 Let's get that down in there. Ratchet. Um, I'll twist her out and see what they look like. Now, the Ford service interval. 
is 96,000 kilometers or I believe 60,000 miles. I'm at 130. Uh, my truck was getting a bit hard on gas. Um, so I figured it's time to change them. I don't think uh, they were ever changed before. So we'll, uh, we'll change them out because I think they're doing. I don't think the previous owner did them. All right, so we got our spark plug out. We're gonna just check the gap for fun. And see what they're gapped at. This is the old plug. So right now, I'm at almost 70 thousandth of an inch. So 0 0.069. You guys can see that there. Okay. <clears throat> now, the new plugs, they're supposed to be spec at uh, 3.7 and 5, 5 liter. We're supposed to be at 0 0.049 to 0 0.053. Now, I'm going to check out this plug here. It's a brand new one. Just for fun. Normally I don't really worry about gapping issues. But we are... Wow. Something wrong here. We are at... 0 0.059. Now I don't know. Maybe I got something wrong with my thing. No, sir. We're going to have to tap that in a little bit. Let's try another one. <clears throat> now, they say the torque spec on the 5 liter Coyote for your spark plugs is 9 foot pounds. So, if you have a torque wrench, I would. Either guesstimate nine foot pounds. Uh, this one's over two. This one here is at zero five seven. So we might have to close those up a little bit. But I'm gonna double check with my other gauge just to make sure I get a second one. So we switched out our gauge and we're gonna try it again with a different gauge to see if it's different. We have a different reading. And we are at 0 0.052. Perfect. I think that's what we want. I think uh, maybe my other gauge had the biscuit or is just not made right. Now that's the champion spark plug gauge that might be out of whack. I'm just going to double check this again, slide that up, and she gets tight at 0 0.052, so we're right on the money, we're within spec, so we'll fire these, uh, this plug in. Now they say nine foot pounds. Uh, well, don't normally get out. Normally there's a crush washer on the end. Uh, most spark plugs, these ones don't seem to have them. So you can't really just feel how far the how far you crush the crush washer down. So maybe we will get out the the little mini torque wrench there. Yep. Awesome. So we got our uh, torque wrench out. We got her set at 10 foot pounds. It's not a whole lot for tightness. But that's it. Let's see. 
put her in at nine nine foot pounds. Make sure your uh, boots nice and clean. Try not to put your hands on it because that can uh, cause uh, if you have any dirt or anything on your hands, you could cause a premature arcing, not knowing. So put her coil back in. Tighten this down. Should be good. Don't let it go overly tight with those. These here are a bit stiff to put on. You gotta make sure they come all the way down and clip in. There. Had the two thumber. <laughs> okay, so then we got our clip in. So we'll show you. We showed you number one. Well, one of them. And we're going to go around and do the rest. And possibly show you what our outcome is for the rest of them. But so far, the first plug that we did, that's out by point. Yeah, I think we measured it and it come out to like. 0 0.069, so 0 0.070, thousandths of an inch. So she was definitely, the gap was definitely bigger than what it's supposed to. Probably causing the the coils to work a little bit harder, not burning all the gas as much, much as it should have. Making the truck a little bit harder on fuel. So if you haven't already, and, you, uh, and you'd like to, uh, like, subscribe, smash the little uh, notification button, little bell button up in the corner, and uh, we'll see you next time. Alright, see ya.